So I am back again. And uh, anyway, where was I? Yeah, I was going to start by writing out the mathematical operators. Our operators in C++ are as follows. Plus, minus, multiply, divide, and modulus. Those are... Our operators. Um, so, anyway, as I was saying, uh, so everybody knows how to plus, minus, subtract, and uh, I'm sorry, and multiply, and then divide. But not everybody's familiar with this guy, the modulus. In computer programming, there is five operators, which would probably confuse the living crap at your math teacher, or not, because it's actually pretty easy to understand. Uh, a modulus is basically division, except instead of you instead of giving you the answer in division, it gives you the remainder of the two of the two numbers. So if you were to divide two numbers and their remainder would be zero, then the answer would be zero. Or if you divided the two numbers and their remainder was one, then you'd get one, and so on. And that is basically how that works. Um, not only that, but there is also uh, uh, urinary operators like plus plus and minus minus and that is where the name plus plus came from by the way C plus plus is if you were to put like a variable called C and then you put plus plus in front of it you'd be uh, incrementing by one and that's basically how that works and you could also do that this way And then, of course, there's also C minus minus. And that's how that works. So you understand. And, you know, those are our basic operators. And, you know, uh, we are going to use operators. This is the mathematical ones. Uh, we'll get into uh, conditional operators uh, very soon. Those will be used for if statements and such. But anyway, there are several different operators. There's even bitwise operators, which is like working with things on the binary level and you know, we'll cover all of those at some point but for now we're worrying about the mathematical ones so basically what this code is going to do is uh, it's going to display my name and then it's going to enter I guess new line and then it's going to ask the person's age and enter a new line again and then they have to type in their age before it continues once they do that after they hit enter then they're going to see their age shown uh, after concatenating and then then they're going to get uh, how many years apart they are from my age which is 19 so I'm going to go ahead and compile with F7 and it succeeded no baddies from this one and then I'm going to hit F5 to run the code so there it is just as I said it says my name is Gabriel Eastless and it is asking for my age and I'm going to put a uh, 900 you're 900, it gets very excited about that, and then it says that's 881 years apart from me with the smiley face. And then the press any key to continue is from the system pause function. So then I just hit enter, that is the any key, and it exits me out of the program completely. And that is how that'll work. Um, so yeah, that's basically all it is. I'll hit F5 again, and uh, it'll see what I put when they're younger than me. I'm going to put six. Yeah, six years old was a good age for me. That's when I got my first PS1. It was a uh, pretty awesome stuff and now it says you're six that's minus thirteen years apart from me so I guess that's mathematically and grammatically correct I suppose uh, it does make sense in its own way uh, and then I'll hit enter again and that's the any key and there you go that is our program ladies and gentlemen so you have finished the first lesson um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you guys uh, an individual assignment, if you will. Um, I don't want to call it homework, but I'm going to call it homework. HW for you. Uh, part of programming is to figure stuff out on your own. So I'm not going to give you all the code. Uh, feel free to start your own projects after going through this tutorial and getting, you know, the gist of what is being um, covered here, um, the basic understanding of all of this, and then you can move on to the next lesson and then 
you can work with that. So what I want you to do is I want you to work with other data types. And also, I want you to work with displaying text and receiving input. There's not how you spell input. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think you actually necessarily have to do anything else. Um, but that is it for the most part. That is all you have to do for your homework. You just create programs that, as long as you're doing that, you can do. Oh, well, and also, and experiment with mathematical operators. And there you go. That is the homework. That is all you have to do. And next time we will be covering. Um, next time we will be covering function definitions and declarations, which is basically the same thing as creating a function like main. So basically, we're going to be able to create other functions besides main, and then uh, define them in our own way so that they can be used. Uh, on a whim when we want and then we're going to start classes and we'll see if we can't get into dynamic memory allocation while we're doing that and that is the little bit we're going to be covering next time and some of the things we might run into as we're doing that is uh, maybe some if statements maybe something of the sort of along that nature but um yeah that is my tutorial I hope that helped um, there we go if for some reason you have any questions or you hated the way I taught this thing just you know always comment you can always you know um, send me a message and tell me how I should do better uh, if this was confusing I hope it wasn't I feel like I left a decent amount of comments and I did a decent amount of explanation given the short amount of time I've been forced to do this all under. And, you know, I didn't do too much new code. I mean, I explained everything to the best of my best ability, best to my to the best of my ability. And um yeah, that is that is about all I can do for you. So, if you have any questions, just let me know and be sure to do the homework for next time. Thank you, and I guess I'll see you guys soon.